Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to detect plant leaf disease with the help of Google Teachable Machine. So before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends thank you so much and let's get started. So friends as I mentioned today we are going to detect plant leaf disease with the help of Google Teachable Machine. So for that we need a data set so i have used a kaggle data set which is as you can see the new plant disease data set augmented so you need to simply visit uh, official website kaggle.com and then just search for new plant disease data set which is a 3 gb uh, data set and inside that we have uh, if i click on the folder inside that we have train and valid so uh, train and valid images so we have apple uh, folder then uh, we have apple leaf disease then we have apple healthy a uh, lot of folder as you can see lot of folders we have so i have already downloaded uh, this data set you need to simply visit their website and download the data set that's it so i have already downloaded the data set if i open my download folder here it is as you can see the archive.zip and i have extract the folder and here it is new plant disease data set inside that we have a train and valid folder and then we have all the folders with uh, with the images a uh, plant leaf uh, disease images and plant healthy images so in this session we are going to uh, detect some classes with the help of google teachable machine so we are going to detect here apple healthy then apple cedar apple rust and then we are going to use here a uh, tomato healthy and tomato uh, virus so simply what we want to do we want to first uh, go here teachable machine just open teachable machine in your browser then click on get started it will open our dashboard then we need to go inside the new project image project so just click on image project standard image model and uh, uh, this is what our training page here we want to start our training so first we want to upload our data set so just click on upload open where you have your data set so you need to simply move the folder with images inside here the class as you can see choose images from your files or drag and drop so let's just start with tomato healthy so just drag and drop over here and it will load all the images as you can see 481 images sample so now simply we want to mention the class so what we want to do here just open the folder right click to the folder rename and just copy as it is just go to the class edit it and control plus v that's it this is what our first class so now go to the upload second class just drag and drop the folder and it will load our images now we want to simply right click to the folder copy the name and edit the class name and just control plus v so we have our two classes ready now add class and same way click on upload open the folder and our next class is basically apple healthy so just drag and drop the folder it will load our images again sorry just open the folder right click to the folder rename copy the name copy edit the class name control plus v control plus v that's it apple healthy and then again we have our next class which is apple cedar apple rust so just add the class new class and open the folder apple cedar class I forget to click on upload so just click on upload and then drag and drop the folder with the images and then just right click to the folder rename it and just copy paste the name class 4 is this one that's it we have done with our data now simply we want to click on train model and now it will start our training remember one thing friends do not open new tab or do not change uh, this tab as you can see you will see this kind of message just click on wait because it will take some time so do not change the page 
so now as you can see the training is started here it is as you can see the training is started so friends we have completed our training process now we want to simply export our model so just click on export model then here we want to select the second option which is tensorflow and then simply click on download my model so it will download our model meanwhile what we are going to do simply i have create here a repository new repository teachable machine i will mention the link you need to simply copy paste the link inside the browser then go to the code click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository so just open the repository here it is as you can see teachable machine uh, main zip what we want to do we want to simply move this repository inside where we have all our data so just uh, just a minute just right click and then click on cut and the archive folder where we have all our data so simply just paste here and right click and just click on winrar and extract here so it will extract our folder as you can see this is what our folder and inside that folder we have our python script so let's just open the python script so as you can see we have opened our python script with the help of thony python id and meanwhile our model is also ready as you can see this is what the model zip folder so uh, go to the file manager again downloads and right click to the uh, zip folder and then go inside same folder and our repository and just paste our model folder right click winrar and extract here it will extract the model file which is kerasmodel.h file and it will extract label.txt file simple now we are going to use here cvzone classification module import classifier this is what our module which we are going to use so just open tools manage packages cvzone hit enter click on cvzone and install package that's it we have done so from cvzone classification module import classifier then import cv2 impo, uh, import globe and cs is equal to our classifier and inside that we want to mention our model and the label.txt file then uh, we are going to read the images multiple images from the folder for that we are going to mention here a path so this is what the path we are going to change the path with new one then we are going to use here for loop because we mentioned the globe a module so we can simply mention globe dot globe and we want to mention the path path of our folder and this one is basically it will read all kind of images from the folder which we we select where we have all our images for that we mention the path like this way here simple so then after we have our basic concept c2 dot im read resize method and then prediction is just a variable now cs is the variable which we define for our classifier our model and our label dot txt and then cs cs dot get prediction inside that we want to pass our img then c2 dot im show wait key and destroy all windows that's it we have done we will detect our object means we will detect the healthy plants live and the virus plant live so now simply what i am going to do uh, we have here uh, some test images so simply uh, inside that test folder again test folder i have mentioned some uh, test images so just right click and copy the path and mention the path over here do not remove this one so from test remove all the things and control plus v the path which we have copied that's it now simply start the code it will use our keras model dot h5 and label dot txt and it will detect the it will detect basically the object we can say with the help of our model so as you can see this is the second class and the class name is apple healthy so this is the healthy apple leaf just press a space button it will uh, open the next image again same uh, leaf here also same leaf apple healthy leaf apple healthy leaf then this is the virus as you can see tomato virus so this is not healthy leaf this is the first class okay then here it is as you can see the class number three which is apple cedar apple rust so means 
this is the leaf of apple where we have disease uh, the apple disease we can say the virus and then we have tomato healthy as you can see the zero tomato healthy class so we successfully use google teachable machine and most easy way we detect a virus of a plant leaf so i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye